let's say like, again, we'll go back to that house in the suburbs, 2,500 square feet, four bed, two bath, it's a $60,000 reno. If you come in at 70, fine. You probably have a guy, maybe he's a little more expensive. You come in at 50, fine. You might be able to you know, get it done for that number. You might not, but I'm like $10,000, you'll find the money if you screw it up. Um, you come in at 15, I know we're off. So like, I don't really go that hard on it until I see, most people come in less. Most people think they're gonna do, they're gonna put together the Taj Mahal for 10 grand. It's just what happens. So my recommendation is that um, have a contractor look at it and when you send the numbers, I'm not gonna bust your chops over like that $10,000 swing in either direction. It's when you're way off. Um, and then once I see the numbers, I know. And if it's not, that's also a big red flag. If you come in to a hard money lender and you go, I can do this for 15, instantly they're dropping their number because they go, whoa, you don't know what you're doing. Um, whereas, and you don't have to be an experienced investor because I've had new investors that know very well their numbers very well because they have a, a very detailed scope of exactly how much it's going to cost and I'm totally comfortable with pushing my numbers on something like that. Um, so to answer your question, you would send the, or you would have your own numbers, you'd send them over, I'd look at them and go, yeah, hey, we're, you know, it makes sense. Um, where it gets a little tricky sometimes is when you have, like we had, a, I think it was actually around Harleysville, maybe had a, um, there was like a 10,000 square foot house. I mean, it was like, there was like horse stables and all this. And you're just like, what is this thing worth? And how much does it cost? Right. Cause it was a 250, $300,000 renovation. And I'm like, you know, the bathroom is 50 grand, right? Or it's, it's crazy. So you can't, you gotta be, I gotta be careful on those when they're really outside the box from like a typical flip, but like 90% of the deals we do are just like three ones inside of Philly, four twos in the suburbs, it's pretty standard numbers for the most part. So thanks.